coming. <laughs> I got you a ring. What's that for? This is for you. <laughs> oh Are you going to marry me? I'm going to make a video for the second baby. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> oh, poor kid. It's because we're too tired and busy. That's why parents don't care about their second kids. Don't ever watch this video, second baby. Well, it's explained why we're too exhausted. We have a first kid who's just exhausting. So maybe they're the one who should watch it. Anyways, we're going to the hospital now. July 11th, 9.28 a.m. Hopefully the baby comes today. I hope so. So this past Monday, it was July 11th. Justin and I drove to the hospital, grabbed some coffees. Well, grabbed one coffee on the way because I was fasting. Coins, going into labor right now. Her water just broke. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you gonna make it? Is this the baby's head crowning? Um, got to the hospital. Around 10, got checked in. 10:30, and then the whole induction process started at 11. The update is I'm hooked up to just the regular IV drip. I think that's the pitocin that they haven't hooked I guess I was also worried about how Will was going to react or how he was going to take it because I've also read somewhere before that getting a sibling is like the same kind of emotional like reaction is like if finding out your spouse cheated on you almost the center of your parents world and then all of a sudden there's this other thing that's taking their attention so my pitocin drip was going probably for like the first hour nothing really happened that much i mean i was getting contractions but i wasn't really like dilating or anything um and then once i got the epidural i was able to like get back on my phone and uh, check my text messages and check in on Will and and that lasted probably about like an hour maybe two I know it was less though because at one point I was like starting to feel pain again and they were like oh we can't top you up until it reaches a two hour mark for when we started your epidural and by the time we got to like that two hour mark the nurse was like the baby's probably gonna come before three and that was like 10 till three I don't know I mean I feel like labor progressed really fast contractions were like super intense super close and then Lee was born. <laughs> um, so after all that was over, we stay in the hospital for two nights because that's the normal length of stay for a vaginal delivery. We checked out in the morning. It was raining super hard. All these people are walking around. Minding their own business, and this little girl is right here. We did it. Um, and we brought Lee home, and my mom and sister were still here from having been with Will a couple nights, and Shannon and Joel came over, and everyone got to meet Lee for a little bit. But at 3:30, Justin went to go pick up Will, and Will met his baby sister for the first time. Just got Will. It's raining so much. Ah! You ready to meet your sister? Okay. Can I carry you? Ready to meet your sister? Ready to go meet your sister? Is it Oma? Well, do you hear that? What is that? You want to go see?
This is me asking you. I love you. I love you too.